Let's dive into multiple criteria decision-making analysis. This is a precursor to a lot of algorithms and scoring, so it's a great technique to learn as a data analyst. And what this essentially allows us to do is normalize many different types of data, score it using a performance score, and then make a decision based on that scoring. So let's dive in. So our objective is create a performance score based on multiple criteria. And the data set that we're looking at is a used car data set that has five different automobile options. The features of the data that we're looking at is price, miles per gallon, horsepower, room, type, age, and score and room is probably a car door. So first you want to be able to identify the different data types. So we can see that we have a collection of different data types, currency, number, and category. We want to be able to scale these to a similar level, aka normalize these. Price is on a different scale than miles per gallon. Miles per gallon is on a different scale than horsepower, room. And then we have a category that we need to turn into a number prior to normalizing our data. So let's see how to do that. What we're going to do is rank this by order of preference. And we can rank that because we have five options. We can use a ranking scale of five with five being the most and one being the least attractive however it doesn't matter if you switch that because once we normalize that it will all be on a proper scale so let's identify what's beneficial and what's non-beneficial out of these particular features we have price miles per gallon horsepower room type and age so some of those are going to be good for us, like a lower price, and then some of those will be bad for us, which would be maybe lower miles per gallon. So we need to learn how to put that on a zero to one scale, which is known as normalizing. So we want to maximize these benefits. And if you look at this formula, we are going to divide these particular criteria by the max value in each column. In the non-beneficial, so for example, a higher price, we are going to focus on the minimum value. And we're going to divide this value by the minimum. And both of these actions will give us a scale of all this data from 0 to 1. You can see the division here where we're dividing the minimum value by the price, and that's going to give us a zero to one scale. We want to maximize the benefit, so we want to get the highest miles per gallon. So we're going to divide this value by the maximum value. Same with horsepower, we're going to divide by maximum value. And then we change our categorical feature where five was the best. So we're going to divide that by the max value. And let's see what that looks like normalized. So now we have a scale from zero to one for each one of our values. We can see for price, this would be the best price because one is the best. For the lowest, we would have automobile two. For miles per gallon, Automobile one would be the best for automobile four would be the best for horsepower, room, type, and age. This is normalizing your matrix. Once we have this normalized matrix, we can move to the next step. We want to be able to create a performance score. And we can see what we're doing is summarizing across the rows on each alternative to get a score. And the winner is automobile four based on our normalized data. 
we can see these three variations are very close, but the winner is automobile four. Now, the best thing to do is to put these back into the original matrix. And we can see this here by having this performance score for automobile four, and we can see why we chose this. So our main objective was to choose a used car based on multiple criteria. We chose automobile four based on the following criteria. A lower price, so we can see automobile four had the lower, lowest price. Relatively good gas mileage, so that means it wasn't the best. It was actually on the lower end, 16.5 high horsepower, which it had the highest horsepower, and newness, it was only two years old. Now, of course, we can create a more detailed decision-making model by weighting each one of these columns. If you're interested in learning how to add weight to this scoring model, please leave a comment in the section below and I'll create a quick follow-up to the video and show you how to weight these columns. So maybe if gas mileage is very important to us, we add a higher weight here on top of the normalized data. This is a great tool to use in your analysis journey. Please leave a comment, a like, and of course if you're not subscribed, please do. Thank you.